It's Friday night and we got KHL playoff action. Sounds like a trip, doesn't it? My name is Andreas Achenko and you're watching the KHL Update. We begin our journey in Siberia where Auburn guard host Auburn off for Game 2 of the series in Omsk. The Hawks lead the series 1-0 after a narrow 2-1 win in triple overtime. We're gonna have a lot of goals in this one, try to keep up. Late in the open period of play, Mikhail Yunkov steals the puck shorthanded and beats a group up upon a breakaway. He's a two-time Gagarin Cup champion and killing penalties his forte. Two minutes later though, Artem all tied it up. Viktor Alexandrov takes a shot on that, Mikhail Pisenko whacks it down low and Artem Zimchonik is joining on the spot to tuck it in. With just a second remaining of Vladimir Sopika's minor, Artem will make it a 1-1 hockey game. And with just a few seconds remaining to play in the period, they score another power play goal to grab the lead. Viktor Alexandrov takes another shot on that and this time it's tipped in front by Vadim Kostoslavatsa. 2-1 Artem off to 20 minutes of play. Early in the second period, Avangard capitalized on a man advantage of their own as Evgeny Medvedev wires it home from the high slot. That's his first of the playoffs. Three minutes later, Omsk native Maxim Kazakov scores the second of the series on his former team to give Arbonne their second lead of the night. Swift finish by Kazakov, forehand back to the backhand, and that thing goes upstairs. Beauty! Three seconds past the halfway mark of the period, Avangard bring it all back to even again. And it's another power play goal. Vladimir Sabotka dishes it over to Nikola Lomtigov, and he sends it in from the high slot. This one has tied at threes, and Avangard head coach Alexander Andrievsky gets a game misconduct. What can he do? It's the most emotional time of the year. Early in the third period, Avangard capitalized on yet another man advantage. Vladimir Sabotka is looking for a passive line, sends it over to Mikhail Grigorev, one-timer, and it's a dart. Mikhail Grigorov scores his third career playoff goal and Avangard lead 4-3 now. Peter to the Deere as they extend their lead to two goals. Yuli Mikheyev throws it in the slot and he connects with Jonas Anlev who has his second goal in as many games. 5-3 Avangard now. And the man who started it all also bags it. Mikhail Yinkov scores his second of the night. He comes on a breakaway as well. Yinkov enjoys his second career two-goal game in the Gordon Cup playoffs and Avangard take it 6-3 in home ice. The series now moves to Vladivostok to resume this Sunday. We travel to Magnitogorsk now, where Madelok take on Kulun Red Star. The Red and Champs lead the series 1-0, while Kulun missed two Kumantil due to a one-game suspension. Finish the defenseman scored both of Kulun's goals two nights ago. Tonight is going to be all about another pin, though. It makes an impact 15 minutes into the game. Alexander Simon sends Oscar Arsala in on a breakaway, and he does not disappoint him. Two former Washington Capitals connect on this one, and Magnitogorsk lead 1-0. Second period now, and Kulun shows their teeth. Just under three minutes into the period, Sean Collins beats Vasily Kochki for his first of the playoffs off a great pass by Chad Rao. And a few minutes later, Collins tucks it home on a rebound to score in a power play. With these two markers, Kulun get their first lead of the series. It's 2-1 now. But Magnitka answered with a pair of goals of their own a little later. First, Jan Kovars gets the puck from Denis Zaripov and he snipes it plus Andre Makarov on the stick side. This is nuts, how did he place his shot so perfectly? It went in off the crossbar! And just 22 seconds later, Denis Potatov wheels into offensive end, takes his shot, has another go on his own rebound, and Vladislav Kolektik finishes the job. Magnitko lead 3-2 now. Two minutes after that, Kolon bring it all back to even again. Zach Ewan picks up the loose puck on the rebound and sends it in to become the first Chinese player to score in the Garden Cup playoffs. Took him just two games. Two minutes into the third here is now Magnitka grabs the lead again. Oscar Salas scores his second of the night and it comes short-handed. 4-3 Magnitka now. And final light on regulation, Asala completes his first career KHL hat trick as he puts it into the wide open net. Hats are on the ice. All sorts of hats, really. It wasn't a walk in the park, but the reigning champs remain undefeated in this playoff run. The series moves to Beijing as Magnitka lead 2 0 after this 5 3 win in game 2. We take a short trip to Chalabinsk now, where truck to play host to Boris. The visiting team leads the series 1-0 after a 5-2 win on Wednesday night. It's gonna be a different game today though, no scoring in the first so pick it up from the second. Truck to open scoring with a power play marker. Alexi Kurchinin blasted past Henry Carlson for his first of the playoffs. Five minutes later, youngster Alexander Sharov gets the puck from Grishy Pistinov and is causing a partial breakaway. Pistinov now has two assists on the night. 
Norris got a goal back just before the time runs out in the period. With 13 seconds remaining to play in the frame, Nigel Doss goes for a cross crease pass and Martin St. Pierre puts it in. It's 2 1 after 40. Either for the third period, we get to see some magic from another youngster. Artem Pinkowski sends a top shelf with a no look shot. He's not even facing the net. What a goal! Artem Pinkowski makes a 3 1 tractor. Two minutes later, Maxim Kutsena gently taps it home from the doorstep. Excellent play by Kirill Kalsa. What patience to make that perfect pass through the paint. Late in regulation, Yakutsena puts a cherry on top as he scores the second of the night on an empty net. It looked like a promising series and it's shaping up to be just that. With this 5-1 win and Game 2 truck to tie the series at 1, these two will meet again in Astana Kazakhstan this Sunday. The last game of the day takes place in Kazan. It's Game 2 of the Green Series. Akbar's face Salavat Yulev after a 2-1 win Wednesday night. This for game winning goal with just 0.4 seconds remaining to play in regulation. Let's see if it's gonna be dramatic again as we go to Tatnap Arena for the action. Akbar get the first goal of the night 15 minutes into the game on a power play, and Salavat have a case to argue again. Fedor Malikin puts it in from inside, but was there goal interference? Was the play on side? They wrote a good goal after a long video review. One nothing Akbar's. Second period now, Emil Garipov misplays the puck behind the net. Stepan Kuponov quickly throws it in the high slot. Sandalev has to tease it up, goes for a shot and snaps his stick in half. Tough break. A few minutes later, Dennis Goldberg moves to prime real estate, goes for the puck, shoots from inside, and it's stopped by Nikos Svetberg. Need saved by the sweep to keep it a one goal game. We move on to the third period, and Akbar's double their lead. Vladimir Kachov puts on a clinic down low, makes a wonderful pass to Mikhail Glukov, and Glukov scores his first of the playoffs. 2 0 Akbar's now. Salvat gets back into it midway through the period as Ember Lissin puts his silky smooth hands on display to beat him over Ripa. It's 2 1 now. Well, late in regulation now, Justin Azevedo flies into the zone, tries to beat Svetberg wide, but the sweep pokes it away. It's not gonna matter though. Hogwarts hold on to the one goal lead and take a 2 1 lead in the series. But let's keep in mind that these two met five times in the Gaga Cup playoffs. Two of the series ended in six games and two more series ended in seven games. This is just the beginning. And that's it for your LKHL update. Do come back tomorrow though for four more games in the Western Conference. Top seeds lead all of the series 2-0. Can anyone turn it around? We'll find out tomorrow. My name is Andrea Sachinka. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.